This video is sponsored by Chugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report, today, June 17, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a pair of M1.5 flares, one at 8 UTC time, which is going to be right at 1 a.m. in the morning, the other one at 11 UTC time, which was 5 a.m. this morning, both central time. As we can see, we have our first M flare here at about 8 UTC time, which is about 1 a.m. central. It came from AR7213, a complex sunspot that's beta, delta, gamma, and that was followed up at about 1040 by another M1.5 flare, also out of AR3712, the most complex sunspot on our sun that's directly Earth-facing currently. You can see up top the stronger of the two was an M1.56 solar flare, and that's really the strongest flare we've seen in more than three days as you can see the 72 hour max also now they expected a lot more activity out of 3712 it's extremely complex it's directly earth facing and it's very large sunspot we have only a 10 percent chance of having an x class solar flare with that said and we had only a 55% chance of having an M-class solar flare that could be moved up to 100% now, right? Taking a look at our star, we have seven sunspot groups that are on the Earth-facing side of our solar disk. By far, the largest and most complex is AR3712, directly Earth-facing. This was taken today can see how long and large the sunspot actually is. We also see AR3716 becoming much more complex and growing much larger. Heading over to STO, we're going to take a look at those two flares. The first one at 8 UTC, the second one at 11 UTC. And we're coming into the first one right here, where it was, and the second one right there. There it was. We'll also jump over, and again, that was at 193 angstroms. This is at 171 angstroms. We'll basically see the same thing here. First one right now. Not much to see, but there it was. And that was the second one there at 11. Second one was definitely the stronger of the two. These were not very impressive, so we'll take another look here. First on the left, 193 angstroms. And first one right there, where it was, and that was the second one right there, which again looks much stronger than the first one. And we'll do the same thing here. First one being right about there. there it was and the second one as you can see much stronger actually some plasma left the surface for that second solar flare I don't know if a coronal mass ejection was created or not at this point this is really the first solar activity that we've seen in several days and here is the second, second M1.56 solar flare here. You can see that the radio alternation is not incredibly strong. And it looks like it popped off right over Africa. So, 
With that said, several models and satellites are down for the day. They say they're having actual problems with them. And to summarize, we had two M1.5 solar flares pop off directly earth facing one about 1 a.m. this morning the other one about 5 a.m. this morning central time and we're still maintaining a c2 baseline flare which is incredible within itself with all that said god bless you and yours please share our video please subscribe and always remember anything's possible in bizarro world.